Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to another edition of Tool Tech Tuesday. Tonight I've got some pretty exciting news for you. Uh, along with four tools I want to show you that is going to be coming to the channel hopefully within the next four consecutive weeks. So uh, Tool Tech Tuesday is going to be pretty busy the next four weeks uh, with these four tools. I'm hoping um, I can get uh, out here and get things uploaded and some, or get some videos shot and some videos uploaded for you guys to watch. So uh, the first thing I wanna show you is a jump starter. Uh, Lickathor is what, how I believe it's pronounced. Uh, so I was gracious enough to send me this out. So I wanna see how this works. They want me to use it first and then kind of give me, or give them an idea on how it works. This is their newest model. Um, and this is available on Amazon if you guys want to check it out before we would do the video I will put a link in the description if you guys want to head over and check this out It's just kind of like my other one that I did a video on um, Which I have a no-co you guys know and then it's pretty much really close to like the the this the, the 70 model I've got the GB. I think it's a GB a 150. This is pretty close. I would say to their 70 um, so we're going to be reviewing this. Um, it's everything is really close. I mean, it's almost the same, but um, they don't know I'm doing this video. So, you know, uh, it's like I said, really close to the NOCO. So anyway, if you guys want to check this out, links in the description. The next product we're going to have, you guys know I have uh, all MNOVA scanners. I've got the 5610, which I absolutely love. Uh, this is a new product from them. All it is is a dongle. And then you have an app you download to your smartphone which is the repair solutions this is all new uh, to support this um, it's not the same app well it's the same app it's just updated uh, that we had for the this scanner here but uh, the nice thing about this I have used this a few times the repair solutions portion of this is so much faster than what it is in just a standard handheld. Um, th this is pretty nice. So uh, this is probably going to be first as of next Tuesday. Uh, another app that they have with it is Gauged. Now I will be honest with you, I was not able to get that app to work correctly. I could not get it to pair and connect to my phone. Um, I was able to download it but it was constantly searching, I couldn't get it to work. So I wanna get a hold of those guys and make sure that I'm doing everything correctly. Um, but uh, yeah, it does everything that the 5610 does, plus the repair solution is just a little bit faster than what it is with this. So um, this is pretty nice. Um, this is the MNOVA 1000 OBD2 uh, handheld scanner and all it is is a dongle you plug in and then you download the app and you go from there also available on Amazon link is in the description next we have a welder uh, that is high Hy I believe is how you pronounce it I've got it tucked back here in the corner so uh, that's their MTG 225 D you guys know I'm a firm believer of Prime Weld, but they contacted me and wanted to know if I would be willing to uh, try their welder out. So I said, no problem, I'll give it a shot. And then also Prime Weld, we got the MTS 200. We need to get this out of the box. I've had this for just a little bit, so I need to get that out of the box and uh, try that out. So um, all of these, but well, everything is available on Amazon, everything. So, um, if you guys want to check out any of this stuff, head over to Amazon. Um, links are always in the description for Prime Weld, their store. Uh, they also have banners available now if you guys want to head over to Prime Weld and check out their banners. So, um, as you, I spun around, you saw, and I hope that it doesn't dry that way, but um, I bought a garage door off of Marketplace. It's white, so I want to make it black. Um, this is my metal here, a sample. It is a matte black. This is satin black, but um, it should be all right. It should be fine. It's just the reflection of the light. Um, hopefully, I just put a real wet coat on there for the final coat, so um, yeah. I'm hoping it dries just a little, with a little less sheen. You can see right here, 
there's a lot I mean it's starting to dry and there's some less sheen right there so like I said I hit it with just with a real wet coat now for my final coat um, I don't know how cost effective this is gonna be I'm using some spray bomb I usually don't use Krylon but this was the closest that I could find so I grabbed it it is their fusion all-in-one so I hit it with a scotch bright and then Cleaned it, sprayed it. We got about three coats on there, so two cans of paint per panel. So, like I said, I don't know how cost effective that's going to be as far as uh, hitting it with some spray bomb, because this is like eight bucks a can. So, we might have to find something just a little bit cheaper, but don't know how it's going to match. So, uh, last but not least, got a new addition to my Milwaukee family I did pick up a new half inch impact actually it was a birthday gift from my wife and my son so um, this is their uh, high torque fuel um, this thing is flipping awesome awesome so this might be coming to the channel as well at some point in time so without further ado let's uh, walk out back there see it through the window She's done. All right, as we walk out here, my neighbor decide, one of my neighbors decides to mow. So um, I just put the last piece of roof steel on probably a week ago. And I'm just doing some minor little things and uh, getting things buttoned up. My power company, AEP, was just here um, as you look at my fence in the background, it needs some work too. Uh, but anyway, um, and I got some things figured out with them, what I need to do. My house currently is a 100 amp service, so I'm going to be upgrading that to 200. And the, the shop, I hope eventually is gonna be 200. So right now there's a shortage of everything. Uh, 400 amp meter boxes is what I'm gonna need. Um, our, not available until maybe early 23 so um i have found a couple 200 amp meter boxes with breakers in them so what my plan is um just beyond the fence right there i'm going to set a 200 amp meter box they're going to set a pole right here um out by the road go from the pole to my peak i'll go down from a meter box into my house but what i want to do is have a breaker in there, a 100 amp breaker, and then go underground with my 4 aught up to the new shop. There it is. And then I'll have 200 out there and 200 in the house. Uh, the only reason I really want 200 out here, um, as I keep blabbing and you guys look at the new building, is because of the welder, the plasma cutter, the TIG welder, and my compressor and possibly a plasma table at some point in time um, i want to be able to run some multiple things and not have any issues so my plan is for 200 amp out here as well so anyway this is it uh, it is 26 by 36 412 light gray black trim as you can see we have a 12 by nine door and then one man door. And then I am going to add a porch. I believe, I'm not certain what it's called, but it's gonna come out five foot and then it's gonna have, it's not gonna be just, just a single layer roof, I guess. It's gonna come out beveled. The edges are gonna be beveled from uh, that door to that edge and then it's going to be if you can see real close there there's a screw line uh, that's where the top of it's going to be i'm going to use that nailer i should have i know i should have this was an afterthought um, i, sh I should have put that counter flashing in before i put my my wall steel on but like i said it was an afterthought and i i didn't i didn't know but anyway and nevertheless, it'll be fine. Uh, if I have to, I can take that steel down or I can just put some flashing on, some counter flashing on um, after I'm all done and then just notch it out with all the ribs and put some caulk in it. So anyway, plan, plans, plans. Here's the inside right now. It's just cold storage. You guys know I did do the 
scissor trusses to keep some peak height and then because I only did a 10 foot sidewall. So like I said, right now it's just cold storage. Hoping to have that change before too long. Then over here, one I poured my concrete. I did put in two pieces of three inch, so my gas can come out of one and my electric can come out of the other. Um, just make things and life a lot easier without having to worry about coring or coming through the wall or anything like that. Everything will go for underground and then right inside the building. And then my breaker box, my panel will sit right in here. So anyway, there she is. Uh, the reason I wanted to go with scissor trusses is we do have some height maximums. Uh, we talked about that once before. I actually, I don't know if I've talked to you guys since. Um, I did get shut down for five days because somebody called and complained and said it was too tall. Uh, he came out, measured it, said I was well within the guidelines of 15 foot. So to the peak um, and life is good. I finished it before anybody else could bitch. So um, it seems like that's all neighbors want to do is bitch and complain because they're just jealous. Um, if somebody's bitching and complaining about you, most of the time they're just jealous of what you have or what you have or what you're doing. So anyway, I've blabbed enough. Thank you guys so much for all your support throughout the year, few years that I've been on here. Um, pretty excited, pretty stoked to be able to uh, have that finally to say the least don't have to work on trucks out in the driveway anymore and uh we'll be able to do things through the winter with uh in the heat of the new shop so guys once again if you don't mind hit that like button give me a thumbs up subscribe if you have not already done so and uh hopefully we'll see you next week with the uh, mnova product later on guys